Hey guys, welcome back to the Fool's Show. Of course, I am Foolish Phil. News broke today that Jim Harbaugh and Michigan are negotiating with the NCAA about his possible purposeful lie. He's been charged with a Title I knowingly lying to the NCAA during an investigation. Reports, I believe it was by Yahoo, could be wrong on that, were saying Michigan, Harbaugh, and the NCAA are negotiating a four-game ban. And I tell you what, this is what makes me think Jim Harbaugh's like, you know what, forget the NCAA, forget college. I can go to big boy life. I can go to the NFL and not deal with this stupid junk. This is just a whole bunch of hogwash, a whole bunch of tripe, trash, whatever you want to call it. The NCAA is a complete joke. And that they're coming after Jim Harbaugh can only make me think, he's thinking, why am I still here? I'm so sick of this stupidity. You look at Tennessee, they committed 200 violations, I think it was 18, maybe it was 25 Title I violations. All they get is an $8 million fine and no bowl games, they lose some scholarship count, but in the NIL age, you can just do blue shirts, they call them now, so it's really no penalty there. And they didn't want to take away a bowl game because those would impact the kids and the coaches who didn't have anything to do with the rampant cheating and bribery and pain and all that okay where was that when you know other things like when Michigan got crushed like for having Weber and uh, that I can't think of his name but the guy who gave Michigan and the Fab Five money and all that stuff no they didn't care about the hurting the kids who had nothing to do with it. no they crushed Michigan after that yeah not Tennessee you, you're okay Tennessee you're in the SEC you make money so we're not really going to punish you, SEC. But whoa, oh, wait, 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 Jim Harbaugh. Did you buy hamburgers for a couple recruits? Did you? Oh, boy. And you, you can't remember something that happened two, three years ago? At the time, it was probably a year, year and a half. I mean, could you remember who you went out to eat with a year ago? Could you? But they expect Jim Harbaugh to... I assume Jim Harbaugh eats with a lot of recruits. And it's funny. Oh, someone's coming. My kid might come downstairs. He might show up on camera. It's funny. You have legalized bribery, and you can't buy a kid a burger. Michigan's having the barbecue at the big house. They're going to have a huge number of commits and uncommitted players there. They're trying to bribe the kids, honestly, right? Come here. Look at what you get. I remember hearing about Texas and like their like recruiting trip was like a hundred thousand dollars for a weekend of high recruits but you can't go off and buy two burgers what honey come here quick come on camera then shh hi my daughter Savannah you want to say hi Savannah hi hi okay all right let me finish this up okay so you're gonna say you can't buy two burgers but you can spend a hundred thousand dollars on kids on a weekend because you know there's there's no oddity about that at all the NCAA is just worthless powerless they're like your great grandpa or grandma telling you don't do that don't do that but of course if you know I don't know maybe my grandpa and grandma didn't they didn't have their real teeth right so it's like the NCAA they're like grandpa and grandma they say don't do that but they have no teeth to make it stick nothing to make it hurt if you will maybe my analogy is terrible sorry uh, but the NCAA, don't need them. When is the SEC and the Big Ten going to combine and become a super conference? Adding UCLA, adding UCLA, adding Texas, adding Oklahoma. When are you two superpower conferences going to be like, you know what, we don't need the, SC, the NCAA. We don't need you. Do. We don't. So we're moving on. They're outdated. They're irrelevant. There's so much bigger things going on in sports than they're focusing on two burgers. If Michigan does negotiate this for four-year ban, I'm sorry, four ban, four ye, four games, you're looking at East Carolina, UNLV, Bowling Green, and Rutgers. Honestly, not that big of a deal. Michigan's favored by 20 plus points in each one of those games, and honestly, it gives maybe Mike Hart a chance to show his head coaching chops for a couple games. Grant Newsom and Sharon Moore are also reported to be getting a one-game suspension. And Mike McDonald, former defensive coordinator, is expected to get a one-year show-cause penalty, whatever that means. So, guys, what do you think? Is Michigan just caving in, negotiating this, 
should Michigan just say, you know, forget you NCAA, prove that Jim Harbaugh lied. That's what I wish they were doing. I hope, I wish Michigan was doing that. Prove Jim Harbaugh knowingly lied to you. Prove it. This is just a vendetta by someone in the NCAA who just hates Jim Harbaugh or hates Michigan. One of the two. So guys, let me know what you think. I'll try to put your thoughts in the comments below. I'll try to respond as I'm able to. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Until I see you guys next time, as always, go blue!